Okay, welcome to Rome, Italy. So I'm gonna finish doing up my makeup. I just did my face. I'm just gonna do, I've been doing like very minimal makeup in general here. I just have on tinted SPF right now, eyebrows, and I'm just gonna do like a little mascara. I have some, uh, a little story time for you guys. So I've been in Italy for about three weeks now. I was in Milan and then Florence for a couple weeks. So do you have a vlog up? I was staying at an Airbnb in Florence for a couple weeks. It was like, I mean, you saw it in the vlog, very cute loft. You know, every building there is, <laughs> Old. So there's certain things that, you know, I would kind of expect from an old building. So I was supposed to have the place for two and a half weeks. I was there for a couple weeks, started smelling this. When I say sewage smell, I don't think I've ever smelled something like it in my life, but it was coming from the bathroom. First couple days, I was like, okay, it's okay. I only have a few more days here. I'm just gonna stick it out. But it started going from the bathroom throughout the entire apartment. And I was in there quite a bit because I was also working, working from home. So I was in there like, all day a couple of the days again i was like mm, whatever i told the airbnb host he's like pour some drano down so i poured drano down didn't do anything the scent basically got like increasingly worse through the next few days to the point where when you walk in not even the bathroom just like close to it my eyes would start burning got super red it was like so intense beyond sulfur smell i can't even explain to you it was like it almost like burned the inside of your nose a little bit. But again, that stuff doesn't like bother me probably as much as it should have in hindsight because I was like, oh, I'll just run in and out holding my breath to use the bathroom. I just like would try to take quick showers. But yeah, my eyes were definitely like getting irritated and I just kind of, at first I thought it was something that I was using like my makeup because I do, that usually happens to me with makeup. And then my dad, this is like five days in now of living with this smell getting worse and worse. I told my parents and my dad or mom sends me this article about basically that sulfur smell, I'll link the article down below because if this happens to you in any of your apartments or Airbnbs or whatever, now I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I know what it means and I know it's not great to just chill in there for five days, but basically it can be really dangerous if you're just like constantly exposed to a really intense gas like that because it's not just like a sewer smell, it's actually like a sulfide gas, I think it was, or hydrogen sulfide gas. It can cause like nausea, vomiting, you can actually kill you if you're in there for too long. Uh, yeah, <laughs> as soon as we figured that out, I was like, hmm, okay, maybe I should pop on out of here. I've just been putting a little bit of this cream liner, it's BH Cosmetics Power Pencil in beige on my waterline just to help with redness. <laughs> Message the Airbnb guy, tell him like, you know, I'm I'm good on gas poisoning. I'm probably gonna peace out. <laughs> he was like, yeah, that makes sense. So literally within two hours, I had decided that I was leaving, packed everything, cleaned up around the Airbnb, booked a train ticket, got a taxi to the train station in Florence and was on the train all within two hours. I had like three or four more nights left in Florence, but I decided to just leave a little bit early, head to Rome earlier to have a few more extra days here because I'd spent two weeks in Florence and I felt like that was definitely, it was good. I was kind of ready to head to the next city. So I'm actually really excited now to be in Rome for a couple extra days. I've been doing this like very mini, not even wing, just like extension where it almost just makes it look like it's your lash. And I feel like when you want just really natural makeup, it helps a little bit make your eyes bigger. So now I'm in Rome. I'm very excited to be here. I actually had a whole situation with the hotel that I booked last minute because I had, oh, I also had to find a hotel, you know, on the train. So I had a bit of a situation when I got here. It's all good now. I'm not even gonna go into that because I don't think anyone cares and you know, let's just focus on being out of sewage poisoning and uh, being in Rome. All of my Italy highlights, recommendations, food places, everything is over on Instagram, save to a highlight. There's a Florence highlight and then I just created a Rome highlight. But now I have about a week in Rome, so I have some solid time. So much to see. It is insane. The amount of historical buildings, you're just like walking around on every single block. It's kind of hard for your brain to comprehend. It's just wild. So, so far, really liking Rome. If you're coming here, you do need to book the busy things like the Colosseum and Vatican ahead of time. So I booked those a couple weeks ago. I'm just keeping my original dates, even though I'm here a little bit early. So I'm not gonna be doing that for a few days. But in the meantime, I'll just walk around and do my own thing. By the way, I just used one of my go-to combos, the Cheekbone Sustained Lips and Sand with AOA Full Lips in Light Pink. So that's where I'm at. I feel like I'm forgetting some <laughs> important details and things that happened here because I am caffeine deprived right now. So I'm gonna go find some coffee slash lunch because it's a bit late in the day right now but let the Rome vlog begin
for breakfast i just ordered from this cute place called acai sisters i got like a little acai bowl and then this is like the <laughs> most mini avocado toast ever but it's really cute and some green juice so because i left florence early i didn't have time to do one more load of laundry so i have a bunch of dirty clothes that i'm gonna wash in the tub if you're wondering why laundry here like a service is super expensive like literally it will cost you like 200 300 euro depending on how many pieces you have and when you're traveling like sitting in a laundromat all day just is kind of like a waste of time you know when you have limited days so i'm just gonna like let them soak in the tub and air dry them i got all the laundry drying over here too that took a while probably like an hour 45 minutes and i'm hoping these are gonna dry in time because i actually have to move to a different place tomorrow morning so fingers crossed for me i might like crank the air in here or something <laughs> rough so sweaty so stinky i need to shower like right this second i just had like the best day and it was one of those it was one of those travel days that like these are the kind of nights that i like live for when i'm traveling and that i like crave when i'm not traveling and for me i realized like it's all about the people and like connecting with people because you can be like looking at beautiful things obviously that's amazing on its own but it's just like a whole different level when you can just like connect with people in in wherever like in other cities and other parts of the world but but basically i signed myself up for this food tour and so far i haven't stayed in any hostels i haven't i honestly haven't been too social like i've been on a few dates but when i was younger and like traveling around <laughs> europe and other places like i would just stay in hostels and you just meet people super easily that way but i don't know i'm still staying in a hostel actually after this place i'm staying in a private room in a hostel but if you are trying to really budget travel that's what i used to do is stay in the dorms it's like literally some places are like eight dollars a night fifteen dollars a night if you stay in the dorms and it's really fun it's a good way to meet people so i don't i don't think 30 is too old for a hostel but definitely skews a little bit younger i think i mean we'll see i'll, I'll be curious when i go there but basically this is like the first thing that i booked like a tour with other people and it was a food tour through get your guide which i had never used before i booked a couple other things for rome on there but more just like to get into the Coliseum and stuff. But this was a food tour through them that had really good reviews. And it was just like the best idea. I'm like, why didn't I do this in every city? Because it's a really easy way to meet people as an adult. You get to try local food, you get tips from an actual local wherever you are then you learn history too as you're like walking through and trying different food you're also like learning history about the city and there's just like so many things that you miss if you don't do tours and it was great because i ended up meeting a new friend who lives in atlanta and spoiler alert <laughs> that's the first u.s city that i'm going to go back to when i'm done traveling abroad and that's also on my potential move list which i'll talk about more in another video he was from atlanta we were talking all about atlanta exchanged info and everything and so we're gonna hang out when i'm in atlanta it's like if the airbnb B thing never happened i wouldn't have left florence early i wouldn't have done this food tour because i didn't have time we wouldn't have connected so just wild the way the universe works and then we went off after the tour and like walked another <laughs> i think couple miles i walked nine miles today i went to like the spanish steps and there was music playing on the steps and then walked to trevi at night and it was just like one of those nights where i'm like this is the stuff that i like <laughs> live for there's just this like i don't know if you've traveled you know what i mean but there's just like certain nights that you always will remember and like certain nights that i remember from 10 years ago why am i getting emotional right now <laughs> but no this is just like the alive feeling that i like crave and yeah i just like the more i travel the more i realize like it is from connections with people even if you're an introvert i got a question on instagram asking like i'm an introvert how do i do this 
I am too, I'm an extroverted introvert, but my number one tip, if you're an introvert trying to meet people, don't think too much about it, literally, just do it. Just walk downstairs to the hostel bar, just sign yourself up for the tour, whatever it is, don't think about it. And like today, there were multiple points where I was like, should I do the food tour? I don't know. And I'm like, no, I'm just gonna do it. So glad I did it. Once you actually get there, for me, that's the easy part. Like it's not, it's just the leading up to it. Most people are like really chatty on tours and in hostels because they're also trying to meet people. Once you're actually there, you'll be like, oh yeah, this is, it's fine, it's not a big deal. And then you'll be really happy you did it. If you're solo traveling or maybe just like doing this in your own city, just do it. Just feeling really grateful. It was a great day. I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna go get in the shower. I just opened the bag of clothes that I didn't wash and I am now finding that all of these smell like the sulfur <laughs> from the other Airbnb. <laughs> the next spot. Wish me luck because I have another walk with these bags. Okay, so I just got to my new room and it's perfect. This is, so it's a single room obviously inside um, of a hostel and everyone's been super friendly so far. There's some like cool spaces to work and everything. Good kitchen down there. So I love this quote by the way. Nice bed. It looks like if you wanted to, you could put your things down there and lock it. Safe in here. Full closet. Desk to work out, which is nice. Mini fridge. I'm going to be here for six nights. So I'll definitely like unpack and hang up some stuff. I need to ask though if they have like a steamer. That's the one thing I regret not bringing. They make these like mini travel steamers from Amazon and yeah, I regret not carrying one of those with me everywhere. It's a little apartment view, good lighting in here. It's actually pretty big. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but, and there's a full length mirror. Hallelujah. So my nails were getting super grown out, so I did go get them done real quick. Normally if I was just, you know, on like a week long trip, I would not get my nails done in the city and like waste time doing that. But since I'm permanently on the road, you kind of have to. Hard to see on camera, but there's some like slight glitter on the top coat. This is an Italian brand, so I don't know the brand and shade. And this is just gel, this is on my natural nails, so no tips or anything. So if you're coming here and you want to go to the Coliseum and do all that stuff, you do have to book or you should book the tickets ahead of time. So I got like the fast track tickets. So I'm about to do that in like an hour. It's the afternoon right now. I'm actually gonna get a ride over there and then walk around since it's like the middle of the afternoon right now. So before I go to the Coliseum, <laughs> That sentence, wow. I got a little bowl. I've been getting this place. What is this called? Acai Sisters. They have really good healthy bowls. And I got some juice, fresh juice. The juice in Italy is so good because it's all fresh. Slash most other countries. <laughs> the US just has a ton of processed shit. But anyways, I'm editing my first Italy vlog or like scheduling it right now, doing the description thumbnail and everything. Whenever I do that, I play back the whole video so that I don't miss any links. I end up playing back videos like probably three times before they're actually uploaded. Okay, I have a winning idea for someone. <laughs> Can someone in Rome please make a TikTok on places with AC? Like you could do each, you know, neighborhood, each little area within Rome or just Italy in general, if you really wanna go that far. Tips for doing the Colosseum, do it first thing in the morning. Definitely get the fast track ticket, but don't show up to your time slot early. I showed up a half hour early and that was a big mistake because they don't let you in early at all. So then you're just literally roasting alive outside. And the shady spaces are like very hard to find, very limited because everyone's in them. And I went in the afternoon, 2.30, don't do that. But I looked it up, there's only one museum in all of Rome that has air conditioning and it's the, I'll put it in here, it's like one of the art museums. I'm gonna add that as like an afternoon activity one of the days. For everyone who's like not planning on going to Italy or just watching this vlog, I don't mean to like go on and on about the heat in these Italy vlogs, but it is 
no joke and I was like one of those people when people told me that I was like eh, it's fine like I'll go in and out of museums and stuff but the issue is that nowhere here has AC like very very few places even like restaurants anything if you're walking around a lot and like trying to tour stuff in 95 degree weather I'm not kidding like you're you're soaking wet and it makes it a little bit more difficult to like thoroughly enjoy the things that you're seeing because like for example in the Coliseum if it was winter I would have done the audio guide and like really walked around and learned stuff and took my time but I mean people were like laying down in the shade so I just want to prepare you if you have like an Italy trip booked for the summer just know that's what you're getting yourself into if you haven't booked your trip yet and you're thinking about it I would highly suggest like October November instead and then another tip bring a water bottle there is one fountain inside the Coliseum where you can refill your water bottle but that's the only one that I saw, but there are public drinking fountains all around Rome and Italy. So if you just bring a bottle, you can refill at places. All I gotta say is thank you, Hostel, for having amazing air conditioning. <laughs> Feels so good in here. <laughs> Okay, so this morning I did the Vatican Museum and St. Peter's Basilica, so I thought I would give you a couple tips. <laughs> tips. By the way, me saying this stuff is just, I'm just trying to be helpful, like if you're planning on going and it's as hot as it is right now, I'm grateful to be here and see this regardless, but just some things to know if you do have the choice between coming in the summer or not. The theme of this entire, the whole Italy vlogs is go early and pre-book tickets, especially if you're going in the summer. Seriously, you have to do the uh, skip the line ticket. I don't know how people aren't, I'm sure they are like passing out in the line because when I was leaving, I did the 10 a.m. pre-book ticket. When I was leaving, there were literally thousands of people wrapped around the building and it was 99 degrees and they were not moving like they were just sitting on the ground the line was not moving so i cannot imagine like they're probably going to be there all day so do the pre-book tickets and also when you're in there just know like you are packed like sardines and it's basically like ikea <laughs> it's set up so you have to go in and go through the entire thing so if you just want to see the sistine chapel or there's just like a couple parts of the museum you want to see you can't really do that as far as i know it seemed like you have to go through the entire thing so that's a lot when it's i mean people were like dripping in sweat using fans that's a lot when you're packed like sardines inching through the entire thing so just know you'll probably be in there for a couple hours whether you want to or not <laughs> i mean it was amazing like the sistine chapel unbelievable like literally just staring at it and it's hard again it's hard to comprehend just like what you're looking at it's insane so then i grabbed lunch and then went to the basilica so crazy i did not realize that the vatican city too is it's the its own country and it's the smallest country in the world and there's walls all the way around it so wow so definitely obviously totally worth going to but just wanted to give you a little heads up on those book it a couple weeks in advance maybe even more and get like the first time slot doing they have. some light makeup and i realized there's great lighting in here and there's a little ledge for my camera so i'm like might as well show you guys but i just put on the tinted spf i talked about the festival glow applied it with my holy grail amazon sponge these by the way have still been going on sale two for like seven dollars is the best price i've seen it you have to check the box with the coupon in order to get that price my plan was to wake up really early this morning like at <laughs> 6 or 5 30 to go walk around and get some footage without a bunch of people and go to the trevi fountain and everything when without it like being crazy but that didn't quite happen so it's now like 11. i have on this spf again as like a body glow and an spf obviously but i feel like it's not even doing it justice it gives like the prettiest glow and the tanner has been growing on me the one i talked about in my last vlog now i'm like i'm almost out of that bottle and i'm like should i do i need to buy another bottle before i leave because the thing is like 
it's just super easy and super quick because it dries down like immediately. It's like a gel. Let me grab it. This is it, the color star. A lot of people from Europe on Instagram were recommending this to me. You can do it like two days in a row. This is two days in a row right here. The color just looks like really even, really nice and natural. And I just like how easy it is. It's not like you have to do like a full routine with this one, you know what I mean? You can kind of just like slap it on if you're like, oh shoot, I missed like part of my arm. You can just put it on and it doesn't transfer to like if you want to apply it the same day i put it on had it on for like two hours and went out in this heat where i was like literally sweating and it wasn't like melting off in self tanner droplets you know so if you need like some immediate color as well it's good for that i wouldn't say it's super long lasting like i've probably been applying every third yeah third or fourth day but it's not the kind of thing where you like fully scrub it off and have to reapply you can scrub it off and does come off if you need it to almost apply it more like a gradual tanner. This is a Sephora brow pencil and I've been really liking it. I feel like it stays on pretty well. I finally plucked my eyebrows last night. I've also been drawing this deodorant because I ran out of mine and I'm curious, I'm gonna look it up because we're like the only country that uses stick deodorants. <laughs> Most other countries use the sprays and I'm just curious why. So far this is working better than expected but I have been reapplying. So right now I definitely need to get like a mini carry-on wheel suitcase to bring to Barcelona because right now I have that big duffel bag and luckily I can just like fold that up and put it in my bag with me but it's too big for Ryanair's requirements. Luckily they're all over the place here and they're like very cheap so gotta find that and I think I am gonna go back to the Trevi Fountain because I didn't get great a great photo last time I was there. The Trevi Fountain is packed but it moves pretty quick and most people are actually like around the perimeter not as many people actually try to go up right by the water so if you just make your way to the front it's actually pretty easy to get a photo without people in it gotta get coffee and some breakfast i've had just like fruit and you know some cheese and stuff in the room but i ran out yesterday so that's a tip if you're traveling and want to save some money on food i'm i love trying food where i am but also if you just want to like you know have a quick breakfast in your room or get some like quick lunch things you can just try to find a room that has a mini fridge which well, you know most hotel rooms do and airbnbs and this one does and so i can just go to the grocery store i think i want like super glowy cheeks today so i'm gonna put a little extra of the dior highlighter over top i'm going with the pink shade in my what's in my makeup bag video, I went through all of the makeup I packed for this trip and also I went through all of my like go-to brushes that I've been using. So if you've ever wondered what brushes I use, check out that video. Everything is in the description box. I actually made a whole other like Excel sheet <laughs> with all the products linked. So definitely check that out. Haven't been into eye makeup lately. I've gotten questions about the flat iron to use because of the voltage and luckily the T3 is dual voltage so I just plug it into my adapter and it's totally fine. I've been using it this whole time. Look for either one that is dual voltage or you can buy like a $15 flat iron on Amazon. That's like a European one. I'm going to finish getting ready here real quick. I have on, this one's Miranda Fry, but they don't make this exact one anymore. My Etsy necklace, yes style thing I always wear. This body suit was, I remember it was very affordable. I think it was from like Pretty Little Thing or something like that. I'll try to, or maybe even yes style. I'll try to find it and link it down below. Usual jewelry. That's it. So I'm gonna go get some breakfast. Got a new bag. So this is the carry-on that I got for Ryanair slash my next couple trips. This duffel bag is too big. And it's also just way easier to wheel this for me with the carry-on because I don't have to hold it. Just got, you know, cheap one. This will, I'm guessing like, you know, it's not the best quality. Who knows how long this will last, but it's kind of just to get me by for now. Just a heads up, if you are shopping in Italy and like little kind of funky stores, um, you are supposed to like barter it down a little bit. So I got a little bit off, but he wasn't, he wasn't budging. So <laughs> just got a few snacky things, but I love <laughs> the fact that you can get olives in a bag here for one euro. I'm going to try this. I've never tried it, but I've been seeing them just for in the, at 4am before I go to the airport. Really cute packaging. It's like very tiny. Some plain snacks. I'm going to have this right now while I wait for dinner time. So I went to the Apple store here, which by the way is so beautiful. It's in like a historic building. Love Apple, seeing Apple stores in different places. Like I think that one and the one in Chicago are the prettiest I've seen so far, like the one on the river. I got air tags because the luggage situation, the checked bag situation right now across the world is insane, but I am packing up everything right now for the morning. So I need to get these set up. So far it's looking like this little bag is gonna be perfect. On the move again. These by the way were 
on a really good sale on Prime Day. And then I looked a couple days after and they're still on sale. So these are the rollout bags I've been using this whole time. Okay, <laughs> I'm all bagged and I can't, I can't believe I'm like considering doing this slash I'm like 99% sure I'm gonna go do this. But it's my last night. I leave in literally a few hours at four. I think it's says I leave at 4 a.m. Anyways, so I've been to the Trevi Fountain <laughs> three times. The first two times I didn't throw a coin in. The last time I threw one coin in. One coin, okay? Then I read online that one coin just means you're gonna return to Rome. And if you're looking for some love in your life, you have to do at least two or three if you wanna get married someday. So you know what? I'm not, I'm not usually superstitious, but there are certain things this is gonna bug me. I feel like this is gonna bug me if I don't go back and throw more coins in. So it's like 8.30 p.m. I'm gonna go walk back to Trevi for the fourth time. Got my coins ready to go. We're on a mission tonight, literally. Walk in there, throwing in the coins, saying goodbye to Trevi. It is really beautiful at night though. That's like my favorite time to see it. So before I end this off, just wanted to get some final, final Italy thoughts. I feel like I gave you <laughs> some tips on when to visit throughout this video, but besides that, I actually think I like Rome more than Florence. It's interesting because a lot of people were saying they felt like Rome was more touristy, but because it's so touristy everywhere right now, I really can't tell a difference with the tourists. It's just packed across all of Italy right now. Milan was actually the least touristy. But just as far as like the city and the amount to see and do, I really like Rome. I just think it's like insane, all the architecture and buildings and history. Like it's just, it's nuts. And I definitely want to come back to go back to the museum to do the guides and stuff when it's a little bit cooler but overall i really enjoyed my time here i've now been in italy i was looking the other night i was like whoa i've been here a month i haven't shown that much food in this vlog because to be honest i had like one or two pastas the whole time i was in rome and the rest i've just been having like salads because my body's just like craving vegetables right now and i ooh, can't do another pasta right now it's gonna it's gonna have to be a minute i know rough i will end off this vlog by throwing in some coins, making some good wishes. I'll uh, make some for you guys if any of you are <laughs> single out there as well. But the next vlog you'll see will be Barcelona. I'll have videos in between then. But if you wanna follow along in more real time, you can follow my Instagram at TaylorWin. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.